No, I'm not really thinking very clearly. Maybe we try again. If you haven't heard about fleece application or finishing in glide waxing, then you will before too long. The use of lamb's wool fleece rollers is definitely becoming more prevalent in ski waxing as we explore ways to make floral free wax solutions competitive. Uh, I thought I'd take a few minutes to discuss what the fleece is, how it works, how we're working with it. To be clear, what it's not is felt. This is a, uh, a Red Creek felt roller product that we have sold a lot of for years and we like quite a lot for its ability to smear floral material very effectively. It applies quite a lot of work to the material and the base without generating a huge amount of heat. Uh, it's a pretty aggressive tool compared to fleece. Fleece was first introduced to ski waxing by Master Wax and then Yes Wax. This is a Master Wax roller. And what we're talking about here is a lamb's wool applicator. Lamb's wool has been used for years in furniture finishing. It's a, it's a known quantity and a, and a good material for spreading substances somewhat delicately uh, and creating you know, very uh, thin finishes. And uh, it's, it's been an established way of working on skis for a long time. In the last few years, it has gained a lot of prevalence. Our good friends at ULA really have pioneered the use of wool applicators. This is an ULA applicator. It's a Velcro-backed tool that goes onto a, uh, a drum, and so you can swap the wool. These guys really have pushed the development of lamb's wool application of waxes, and they've formulated waxes to be used with this applicator uh, with quite a lot of success. And they've also made a, a really elegant little hand tool with a, uh, a removable uh, fleece so that you can scrub hard by hand and get some of the same benefits. Um, we have been working quite a lot with STAR applicators, these wool applicators from STAR. David and Moseli has had demands for years from World Cup teams for wool applicators for use in fl finishing uh, floral waxes and um, has started to produce them in response to demand for finishing floral free waxes. The use of these things has really grown in, in our world out of our testing starting last year when we decided to really focus on floral free performance and figure out how to get the most out of floral free waxes. When we remove floral from the equation, we lose a lot of really free speed and the floral material really takes care of a huge amount of bringing the skis up to speed that we don't have to worry about otherwise. Even when we were working with fluoros, we found that uh, paying a lot of attention to procedure and to application method was very efficacious. We gained a lot of performance by focusing on the way we work with the material. That becomes even more important in floral free. And as we were testing, uh, last year in particular, we did a huge test of every application method we could think of using irons, using heat guns, using corks and cork rollers and felt and wool and what we found over and over again was that the wool finish kept rising to the top. In time I've come to feel that what we're working with with the wool is a thin film manipulation. When we work with paraffin we're mostly getting our glide from a very very thin film on the surface. This was subject to some skepticism early on. When I first started working with these application methods and these finishing methods, I didn't believe that there was sufficient durability in these thin films with no floral material involved to really work over a long distance, but we've discovered otherwise, in fact. And one of the things that we're really learning is that layering these films, in much the way you do layer kick waxes, is uh, really beneficial and can enhance durability and performance and allow you to mix ingredients in, in creative ways. Because the wool is acting on such a thin amount of material, a very, very thin layer right at the surface of the base, and it carries a fair amount of material with it, it is kind of important to dedicate the wool to a single wax. However, what we found is that you can clean these things with compressed air. If you simply spin them on the drill and blow them off, 
then they don't hold the wax really, it doesn't get bedded in in, in a terribly aggressive way and, and you can clean them off and, and change waxes on them. So even just a couple of, of wool applicators can get you through a season if you just clean them before a weekend of racing and you, you know, focus on the temperature range at hand. Someone's calling me, I gotta see who it is. It's Amy. Hi. Hey, what's going on? So these lamb's wool applicators have really two purposes. One is the application of wax, and that is like with the Ola product or with these uh, Star Next Blocks or uh, even other, other products, you can run the wax against the wool to load up the wool, then use the wool to apply the wax to the ski. And it doesn't look like very much is happening, but it is. This is a very thin film application, and if you use so much wax that it starts to smear on the base in a visible way, it usually is catastrophically bad in terms of its performance. You don't want that much wax. You want to uh, think of it like a buffing compound or a finishing compound. You're really trying to put a very small amount of wax on in a very controlled way. As long as you keep the film thin enough, you can layer these things. You can brush it off and go again with another layer, build the layers up in these thin laminates, and you protect the integrity of the structure and you keep the base running fast and it all works very, very well. You don't want to overload them. I think that's kind of the, the difference between the wool and the, the felt is that the, the felt tends to smear the wax really aggressively and the wool is very, very delicate in terms of its ability to protect that film at the surface. It generates uh, a fair amount of heat, very, very localized, but really not so much that it smears stuff too much. The other way we use the wool is as a, as a finishing tool. And an example of this would be to put on a liquid, allow it to dry, and then use the wool to buff it out as a finisher. Uh, we're testing some of these longer fleeces from Star. Davida calls them uh, the punk fleece because of, <laughs> of the long hair. Um, I sent him a picture of me ba back in the fall with my COVID hair. Uh, and he said, yes, you look exactly like a punk fleece. Um, anyway, we've, we've been testing these and for liquid application, we really like them. Even for uh, retaining the, the layer to layer integrity and keeping the layers distinct with uh, the, the, the wool applied waxes, these long ones are good. They're only in prototype, but I've got a handful of them. If anyone wants to test them, let me know and uh, I, can send, I can send a few out. Um, the Star products are, uh, we've sourced mostly 70 millimeter rollers. Uh, the reason being they go right onto a 140 millimeter handle. They work on our Red Creek handles as well. You can also stack them with a 70 millimeter finishing brush, a fine nylon brush, or a couple of rollers uh, at the same time. And so you could use an application roller and a finishing roller or something like that. There really are no rules in this game. Uh, there's a lot to be discovered about the use of these products, but ever since early last season, every race finish that we've put out there, with the exception of some of the Vouty liquids, has been finished with wool, and it's producing a really big, big performance boost in most products. Uh, again, this is true of most liquids, not so much the Vouty Pure products. For whatever reason, those additives don't seem to respond positively to the wool. They don't get slower, but it just doesn't seem to help very much. Um, but some of the sol solid products as well, and, and certainly the wool applied waxes, the waxes that are designed to be applied with wool. Uh, the Star system, they have this whole kit that comes with uh, dedicated rollers and a handle, and these, these waxes that are formulated to be uh, applied with wool. They just have the right viscosity to, uh, to distribute well on the base. We tested a bunch of these last year and uh, they were very, very good. Typically in slightly older snow, the liquids seem to do better in newer snow uh, and the combination really works well at times as well. Uh, that's it for now. There are a lot of products out there. Uh, our friends from Ola are mostly a direct-to-consumer sales model, uh, which is basically just to say that the margins don't support us reselling 
uh, very profitably, but we test and use the products and we encourage you to look them up at ulasport.com. Um, the hand finisher is especially interesting for when you don't have a drill handy. And Star is a great option for a complete line of waxes that are really designed around fleece finishing. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. I believe that's it. Is that it? Yep, that's it.